Andrew here from Simo Labs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can implement a search bar that can be used to filter items such as data in a table view or even data in an array. So let's get to it. <coughs> Alright, so I've went ahead and coded this at the top already just before we implement the search bar. So what it is, it's a basic app that has a table view and some cupcakes listed in it. And each cupcake has a size from small to medium to large. So this tutorial, we're going to make a search bar that allows you to search based on a cupcake name. So I've got the code already here. So you can download it either in the description below or you can pause the video now and add it into your app. It's just a basic table view. Okay, so once you've got your code now, in the view controller, we want to add UI search results updating, and this is going to enable us to add a search bar to our app. And that will come up with an error. Just ignore that for now. We're going to add in the function that will clear up that error soon. So first of all, under cakes, we'll need to create a new class level variable called the var filter cakes. This is going to be an array of cakes. Then in view did load, we're going to set the filtered cakes array to hold everything in the cakes. So that's all values in the table view. Okay, so just before we go on, we need to add a class level constant. We're going to name that let search controller controller equals UI search controller brackets and search results controller and the default is going to be nil. Then in view did load, we are going to reference your search controller. We'll do dot search results updater equals self. Then finally search controller dot dims background during presentation equals false. Then we'll do define presentation context equals true and table view dot table head of you equals search controller dot search bar. So that's going to set up our view controller to use the search bar and it's going to add it to the top of our table view. So next of all, we need to modify some existing functions. So copy this filtered cakes variable and in the number of rows in section, we're going to return self.filteredcakes.countNow. And also in a self row, we're going to rename the self.cakes to self.filteredcakes because the filtered cakes are going to hold the results or what the user searched on. If they haven't searched for anything, it will hold every cake. So finally, to add the search, we need to add one function, which is quite easy. So that's called funks, update search results. And you'll find that will order complete, and that comes from this UI results updating. That's the missing function we need to add to get rid of that variable. So we're going to do if search controller dot search bar dot text exclamation mark is equal to empty then we'll do filtered cakes equals cakes else we need to do filtered cakes equals cakes dot filter and in this filter what we're going to add is a function to filter the cakes. So add some curly brackets in there. And in here, we're going to add dollar sign zero dot name dot lower case dot contains. And in these brackets, we're going to do search controller dot search bar dot text. I'll just fix that up. Dot search bar dot text exclamation mark dot lowercase. 
and then close off that bracket. So I'll just expand the view out here. So what this is going to do, every time you type or tap into that search bar, it will run this function. If the search bar text is empty, then we show all the cakes. Otherwise, we need to filter the cakes to whatever you type in the search. So what we do, we run this cakes.filter, and this will go through every single cake we have in this cakes array. And then it will check the dollar sign dot zero means it will replace that with each cake. So each cake name, convert it to lowercase. And if it contains any of the text that the users typed in the search bar, place it into this filtered cakes array. So to finally to display that, we need to do self table view dot reload data. Now if we run our app now, we can see this in action. So if we try to search red, we can see red velvet comes up. If we try and search the start of bread for banana bread, that will also come up. So that's how you implement a church bar in your app. This is filtering our cakes array, which is then shown in a table view. So it doesn't need to necessarily be a table view. It can be used for any sort of array or data type you want to be able to filter on. So you can download the source code for this completed app below.